Up World, this is your host of the Ballet Show, Eric. I am back here with another episode. For some reason, um, my phone is different. I can't upload a fucking tough enough video. I have to use an actual fucking camera. Makes me mad, dude. That's the only thing I want to do is do try to do a tough enough. I'm not a big guy. I'm five foot ten, 160 pounds. I don't have big arms. I'm not fat. But it's like, what else can I do? It's like, I've tried so many years to get on that show. Or not just the show, just to get on Tough Enough. And every time I try to send a video, it either doesn't go all the way through, or it fucking just fucks up. And it's raining, as you can see right now. Fucking... I don't know what else to do. Like... Tough Enough is the one t chance that I can get due, and it's like the world's wanting me to just be me and not be on there. It's like, oh, you can't be on Tough Enough, you're not good enough, or you can't be on Tough Enough because you don't have the skills, or you don't have the heart, or you all motherfuckers can hate this. It just makes me mad, like, that's the one thing I would love to do, is try to compete in Tough Enough. I've s watched the Tough Enough shows, you know, and I've seen all these guys put their heart and soul into this competition, and the people that they like, they don't pick, they eliminate them or something. And... I don't know what else to do. Like... My dream is to be a wrestler. I know everybody says that it's their dream to be a wrestler, you know, but I've never, I mean, I've sent videos into everywhere about why I want to be a wrestler, why I want to be a professional wrestler, blah, 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 and nobody has contacted me. Uh, I've sent uh, maybe a one-minute video to WWE years ago telling them that I want to try to compete or try to train to be a WWE superstar, or just train to be a wrestler, and I got nothing back from them. And I sent them emails, I've sent all wrestling companies videos of me, and I've gotten nothing. Like, they're ignoring people. I don't understand. But they'll pick badass dudes who have fucking built fucking like a brick shit house. Yeah, I may not be that big, I may not be that buff, but I can he pick up heavy stuff. You know, I can do it. I want to do it, but nobody wants to fucking, you know... Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's whatever. That's the only thing that just irritates me. My fucking videos are really good. I tell people how I am, and I send them in, and, like, it's like... Nobody wants to give a shit, or give me a chance. And I can care less about the money. Yeah, it would be really helpful. It would totally help, but, like... I wouldn't do it for the money. I would do it for the passion of the business. You know, and like... <sighs> I really don't know what else to do. It's like ridiculous. Because like... I'm sitting in my car waiting to go to work around 4 o'clock. It's 1.28... So I figured I'd use the Wi-Fi for a little bit just to watch videos and watch these people's Tough Enough auditions and stuff. And I'm ashamed of myself right now, you know? Like, I'm ashamed that I can't send these videos in. Even if it's a short fucking video. I tried sending a short video and that didn't work. I tried sending in a, a, a one-minute video and it didn't work. And it says I have to have an MP3. Or MP3 or something, or MP3 4G or whatever, something. I don't know. I'm like, dude, come on, give us a break. And I figured I have to get a camera now, so uh, that's gonna be a lot of money to fucking buy a camera. One that actually plugs into a goddamn computer. Sorry, I don't mean to say the GD word, but it pisses me off that I've sent so many fucking videos to WWE, to TNA, to anywhere, and nothing. Nothing. Over the years, I've done it. I've spaced it out, maybe wait a couple years, maybe two years, then I send another video, then I wait another couple years, maybe a year, then I send another video, and then I, and nothing, 
absolutely fucking nothing. I get no response, no emails, no uh, phone calls, nothing. And it's like, dude, you're ignoring all these people that could have the chance. I don't know, man. And, like, I see all these res WrestleMania videos about people going to WrestleMania, and it just kills me that that's the one place I would love to go to wrestle in WrestleMania, and I can't fucking do it, and I can't... Oh, shoot me, shoot me now. Why so serious? I don't know, I'm just... I guess I'm just... I'm not gonna stop giving up on wrestling. I'll never stop watching wrestling. Because the one wrestler I would love to meet and just to talk to is Roman Reigns. He's one of my favorite wrestlers now. And he's, ever since he debuted with The Shield, I was like, dude, that dude's going to be a force to reckon with. He's going to be a force to reckon with in the WWE. They give him a title, he'll hold it for a long time. I think he should go after the U.S. title or the Intercontinental title. One of those two. Or Ryback should go up to the U.S. title. Or the Intercontinental title. One of those two. And I don't... I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. I, I smoke these because I'm almost done with these. Um, I don't do drugs. I've been off drugs for years. Well, I haven't really been into the big drugs. Just... Stupid stuff I did. Um, but... I'm clear of all that shit, and I'm not going to cry, because I'm not a big crier, but, like, all I want to do is compete, wrestle. That's the one thing I dream about every fucking day, is to make my own wrestling gear, like, cool looking pants with my logo and stuff on it, and shit. Come out with a cool looking tank top, not tank top, but like a wrestling shirt and like have my name on it and shit and just have the crowd just cheer my fucking name when I'm wrestling or just be a fucking wrestler in general. Like I don't care where I wrestle as long as it's awesome. Like I can learn the craft. I've watched wrestling since I was a kid. I know how to take a bump. I know how to freaking suplex. I know how to scoop slam. I've, my nephew, my nephew even told me, Uncle E. I would love to see you on that show. I would love to see you wrestle. Seeing you wrestle would be the biggest thing in my life. The biggest dream I would ever see is my uncle wrestling in the WWE. And I tell my nephew, I'm like, well, that is a dream, but I, I doubt it'll ever happen. And he looks sad when I tell him that. And I don't know how else to say it. I'm like, but I'm sorry. I know it makes you sad. You watch it with me. You're a big fan like I am. I took him to a wrestling event that came in, uh, that was in Fenton. And he fucking loved it. He got a couple pictures taken with a few wrestlers. And he took a picture with, an uh, our ROH wrestler, Mike McGillicuddy or Michael, Mike, something. I can't think of his name, but he was a former ROH wrestler or he's a current ROH wrestler. And he took a picture with him. And I'm like, dude, that's awesome. And like, I see these guys wrestle. They learn their craft. If I can do that, send in a video. I, I don't care. I'll do anything. You know, I, I'm I'm willing to train hard like a motherfucker. But like every time I try, and I try to get hired to be a wrestler, and I do my training and I work out, nothing. You know, I came this close to doing a what, like an independent wrestling match. You know, I was all trained out. I had all the moves ready. I had my signature moves ready. Uh, my finisher was called Justified. My wrestling name is called Justice. Um, it was either Eric Justice or Justice. I bring law and order and justice to re professional wrestling. Uh, but my move is called Justified. And it was awesome looking. And they were had me. I signed, every, I signed a little contract. You know, I had a little bit. You know, they gave me like $200 for start to wrestle my first match. And it never happened. They canceled the show, they canceled the company, the company went bankrupt or something, and I got left with nothing. No money, no match, nothing. I was pissed. I never told anybody this, I never told any of my friends, my family, because I wanted to do this on my own, I wanted to try and do it, and 
I wanted to show my nephew that I can do something that I love doing. And now I can't fucking do it because all these people don't, all, everybody doesn't fucking see potential in people and they just, I'm not, I, I'm not hating on WWE. I'm not hating on any wrestling company. I'm just saying, I'm just hating because I do my best to try to make something happen and it doesn't work because either my videos don't come out good or my video won't send right or I don't have the format or whatever. And I tried applying for Tough Enough to send a video and nothing. It says I need a certain format or something. And I'm like, dude, I can't use my fucking phone. That's fucked up. So, yeah. So I'm going to upload this to you, my YouTube page. Sorry I'm rating Raven. I'm just having a hard day. Uh, hard couple day or hard month as it is. Just a lot of shit's been happening to me. Work's been fucking with me, so... I'm going to try to make money working, and eventually, maybe sooner or later, in the, I'll get that chance. But when it comes, I'm not going to let it go. So if anybody's watching, you want to comment on it, cool. Don't say anything ignorant, because I won't freaking reply to it. But just be respectful and stuff, and I'm just saying how I feel. Um, oh, wow, it's 11 minutes. So, all right, I'm going to go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll be posting more videos soon. So, fizzle.